Just a quick intro to this episode. We had our youth intake, or at least our preview for our youth intake. So a top prospect in Central Mid. Uh, he is homegrown, a Dutch midfielder from Eerd, and an excellent group of players coming through. Uh, not many strikers, few good wingers, most mid, you know, so, you know, we basically have one good player coming in. <laughs> that's what it looks like. But that's an excellent group. All right, well, we'll see you guys back here in a second for the match. Hey guys, RC here. Welcome back to the channel. Glad to have you here. Uh, my prerogative to bounce back a little early. Why is this... Uh, doesn't that look weird? No, guess not. Okay, now it looks right. I have no idea what the hell happened. Uh, it, all I saw a minute ago was the full list. Now I've got the uh, months in here. Uh, let's see. Last match was Dordrick. Yep. So we uh, drew with RKC, uh, Rowan Peters with the goal in that game. Eindhoven, a 6-1 win. Uh, Thibaut Martinez, Anas Bunu, John Toll, uh, an own goal by, I'm not even going to try that, Esterling it looks like. Uh, Rowan Peters picked up a goal. Aziz Mohammed off the bench with another goal there. 6-1 win. And Din Bosch, a 2-1 win. And we got goals from Aziz Muhammad and Lars Makawi, both strikers up top. Martinez got hurt in this match against Eindhoven. He's going to be out for a little while. I think he's got about uh, two weeks left uh, before he's full fitness. But uh, that is what's going on there. Taking a look at the competitions, we are in fourth position. And let's see, Emin... And Heracles won the second tier, second round or whatever it's called. So they're in the playoffs. So, yeah, we need to finish in the top four, I guess, or top six for playoffs. So we're sitting well, but we would like to be doing a little bit better. And we really let that tier get away from us with that bad run of form. But we're into this third period. Let's see, second period. Yeah, see, we tailed off and finished 14th in that period. Really, really bad period. Uh, that was after our really strong first period. And taking a look into third period, uh, we are atop the table right now. Fingers crossed, but it's still early days for that. Uh, transfer news. Uh, we got an offer for uh, Fady Chelik, and we accepted it. Then we off, you know, we relisted him for more money. I had not offered him. They Rhoda approached us, and then he got unhappy. So said, so "That's cool. We'll keep you." Uh, I, you know, so we we rejected the deal. Uh, we've got uh, offers on a couple of people. Not really looking for any of them to come on board right now. And uh, let's see, we have sold Jurgen Steinman for 24000 to Sittard. We knew about that. 32-year-old German back uh, defensive player. Uh, just wasn't in my plans. So he has moved on. And we also signed uh, Alegio Neteb from, from Sittard for 245000 Pretty solid-looking backline player. Him coming on is the reason we were able to move Steinard. And let's see, what else? Yeah, uh, clubs are trying to get this youngster. It's into contract. I've got an offer uh, to him, but we'll see. Uh, these are guys that we have uh, contracts out to. Uh, that would be end of contract for him. And then this guy we're trying to get in right now. Uh, we've gone up to 60000 We've got so much money in the transfer budget. It's like, you know, I can't find anybody to spend it on. So, yeah. all right. So we've got our passing set up here. Uh, we do have uh, an injured player. So let's put Needham in there. Everybody else looks good. Uh, you know what? Dahan really don't have anybody solid in there, do I? He has a passing of 10. 
you know what let's put him in there let's do that all right so we're going to go with uh, mccallie and muhammad up top bunu and toll on the wings peters stamen in the mid sabuni nilsman kook and Nedib on the back line and Viral on in goal oh kook lacking a little bit of match sharpness that's to be you know that's okay we'll work through that do we pump fist and then on a good run i don't think they cared all right we've got all the names out just a reminder we are extended highlights and one match per episode uh this should be going up on friday so a week from today if my math is correct which it may not be but uh so i'm looking forward to some feedback from you guys here at the end of the week with a couple of videos behind us now to let me know what you think about the new format again we've got all the names up one match extended highlights i believe we're on extended highlights we are instead of key so these are all kind of new things for me but taking that in from you guys so all right netib over the top are we uh oh we're in green wow okay i'm looking at the wrong freaking team i didn't even know we had green kits i forgot about those is that our third kit that's a that was a poor shot from a striker hmm still four shots two on target uh toll and wants to come off all right go ahead and sub him off and then uh demand more all right, Fadi Selleck finishes his warm-up. So it actually, he did have to go warm up before he came on, so it took a few minutes, it looks like. Six shots, three on target. Uh, hands together. I'm not happy. All right, here we go. Let's uh, demand more from the get-go. Okay, oh, first touch, and that should be brought back for a free kick and it was so good all right that's over the top knocked down and bunu puts it in his second goal that green is really freaking me out um do you know what's odd i'm gonna throw this out there for thought do you know how many youtubers are colorblind i didn't realize how prevalent colorblindness was I've got I've got some friends that are colorblind, but I was watching one of the guys I watched the other day, and he was talking about uh, not being able to see reds and greens, and I'm like, that would be really difficult. How many red kits are there in Football Manager, right? Just you know, I was sitting there thinking we needed to make a sub, but we really don't. But I just thought that was you know interesting. Oh, there's a nice header. McCowie comes out to get it. Oh, look at that pass in to Bunu. Drops it in. McCowie gets to it. I don't think he could believe he was on sides. And how did Chelik miss that header? He must have been off. No, that was a goal kick. How did he? He was on the freaking touchline. How did he miss that? Oh, that's that's freaky brutal I'm thinking Varel might be the best goalkeeper I've ever had over the top McCowie's on it oh what a block oh that was unlucky Chellick gets over there and he gets tackled ball goes out come on boys all right let's uh let's encourage him They've got a counter opportunity. Kook is back. All right. They hold up play enough that we're able to reset our defense. Deep into the corner. Burrell picks it up. Well, no, he doesn't pick it up. Then he lumps it out to Peters. There you go. Building from the back. 
and Buru loses the ball, gets a second opportunity at it. There's a cross. Oh, come on. There. Ugh. Come on. We got to do better than that. Um, you know what? I, I'm going to go up to attacking. And I am going to, well, I was going to do something. All right. There's a clearance. We just can't break them open. Oh, there was a uh, poor effort by Gertz. McCowie squared in. There's Fadi, Fadi Chelik. Not a good finish. All right, we're going to make a sub here. Let's bring uh, Peters and Bunu. I'm going to go back to positive. Uh, Toll's already off. We're going to go uh, Hellstrom there. Peters for... Let's bring on Kazar. We'll do that. They've got a guy that's really struggling here. Demand more. I mean, honestly, I'll be happy with a 1-0 win, but really think we should be doing better there. Hellstrom back to Saburi. Hellstrom makes a run up the flank, grabs that, cuts it inside, and promptly loses it. He got a little too big for his britches, as my grandmother used to tell me. Oh, and there's a ping. Chelik was, God, how far out was that? It thundered home from some way. I'm trying to read that to see if it tells us. That had to be 30 yards out, huh? Fifth goal of the season. He was way out there. I mean, that's, oh, that's nowhere near. Did it maybe take a deflection? Might have, but boy, he had a go at that. You're not kidding. All right, let's pop into our tactic here. And slow the pace down. I think that'll be good. And let's go ahead and make another sub. I want to pull off Nijman. And De Bruyne, De Bruyne can play there. Eh, not really. Not really. Who else can play defensive center? Dehan, no. He's not bad. He's young, too. You know what? Let's give him, I think this will be his debut. Oh, really? God dog it. It's a cup game, RC. You can't make more subs. You can only do that in league matches. And you know what? In the league matches, I don't do it. And I think Fadi Celic got his head on there and it bounced off of Peter Mondo. Pick up an own goal, but I think Chelik was instrumental in that. Yeah, I just I don't think Mondo was expecting it to get through that group of people. 3-0, we will walk away with this. Hopefully we can hold on to the clean sheet. There's the clearance, and there we go. 3-0 clean sheet. Boy, not many people in the stands. 17 shots, 9 on target, a 1.5 XG, though. That's not very good. Really need to be better than that. They never got a shot and only one corner. Uh, outstretched arms, well done, guys. That was a good win. Dutch Cup third round, and the draw is tomorrow. So let's come back for that and see who will play in the quarterfinals. We pick up 167000 for that win. All right, our young uh, attacking midfielder signs a contract with us. So that's good. That'll push off all those offers on him. And we are here for the quarterfinal draw. All right, so we are in there. We are the only remaining second division team. So we've got Ajax, Groningen, PSV, Venlo, Willem, Ravine and FC20. Who do we want out of that? Maybe Groningen? Is that who we would want? 
They're seventh in the league. Let's take a look at the table. AFC would be a good one. FC 20 or Venlo would be lower seeded there. Oh, well, we'll get who we get. We'd like this one, maybe. And there we go. Yeah, so we've got a winnable. We've got a game that we can at least compete in, right? It's not Ajax. There we go. All right. When does that take place? Tuesday, February 7th. I think that'll be a game to come back for. See, look at this. Why? Why is it doing that? Oh, I know why. Because I added the goal scores. But I don't know why it's losing the month. Weird. All right, so let's see. I think that's what we'll do. We'll come back for FC20. Next episode, Dutch Cup quarterfinals. Again, let me know in the comments what you guys are thinking of the new setup for the episodes. Do you like it? Do you not like it? Do you want to keep this? Go back to what we had. Some other ideas. Hey, we can toss these around. But uh, we are back in a run of good form. Of course, we need to play some more league matches because we've been playing a lot of cup action. But uh, we'll get to it. Guys, hit that like button, subscribe, and all that other good stuff. Don't forget, follow me over on Twitter as well. I tell you to watch me stream on Twitch, but I don't do that, so I won't waste your time. Have a good one, guys. Catch you later. Bye.